and back for another video on how to let go of guilty pleasures when you are stressed <laughs> that make you feel like you are going backward so you can replace them with better habits. Um, this is so important because we don't even recognize, the first thing is we don't recognize that we're actually stressed. We think that we, our bodies can handle it, our minds can handle it, and what we do is we say, well, I, 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 got, I got this, I can keep going. And you don't even realize you're stressed. You don't realize you're smoking more. You don't realize you're eating health, uh, unhealthy foods more. You don't realize you're, you're doing things that you have already left in, in, in your past. And you don't realize, okay, I'm doing these things. I'm stressed. And it takes, it can take months for you to even realize that you're really stressed because now the habits that you used to have, you're starting to do them. And now they're, they're more habitual. And it's like, hold up. How did I get here? You were stressed and you didn't recognize it because you didn't sit down and reflect. <laughs> you didn't give yourself time to say, sit down, reflect, listen to what God is trying to tell you in this moment. You don't have to keep moving forward in order for you to move forward and what God would have you to do in a healthy way. You have to recognize when you are stressed. You have to recognize and identify your stressors. If you don't know those, it's going to be hard for you to recognize the stress you're in until it's too late and the bad habits that you once had, you've picked them right back up. And so letting go of guilty pleasures when, when you are stressed, the first thing is you have to be able to identify that you're stressed. All right. So once you identify that you're stressed, now you need to be able to say, OK, when I'm stressed, I, I, I smoke more. Make sure you ain't got no cigarettes in your house. When I'm stressed, you know, I eat more junk food. Stop buying a whole bunch of junk food. <laughs> like buy some apples, some fruit, some guacamole, make you some guaca, make you some uh, guacamole with some avocados. Like do something, put things into place so that when you do get stressed, it's not just readily available. You got to at least uh, drive somewhere. And during that drive, you can say, all right, God, help me to not go into this grocery store. Let me just go back home and eat my apple. <laughs> Let me go. Let me, let me go back home. Let me not walk outside that my, my house and, and take this this cigarette. You know, whatever it is that are habits that we can easily get back into when we're stressed. Not only do you have to recognize that you're stressed, but you have to be able to plan for those moments when I am when I will get stressed. Know that you will get stressed. Humble yourself. Know that things in life are going to get crazy. You will get stressed. And let me put into place the things that I need to. Um, so that I don't fall back easily um, as I'm getting overwhelmed. And then also you want to be able to talk to people. Uh, give me a call, you know, talk to a friend, talk to a pastor, uh, talk to you, to your brother and sister. So talk to somebody that is a trusted person um, that you can get these things off your chest. You need to be able to say them verbally because again, it, it takes it out of your head and it makes a reality. Everything I talk about is going to be making it a reality as well. Make it a reality because if you don't make it a reality, you're going to be in la la land in your mind and it's not going to allow you to move forward the way you need to and in the, the season that you need to. So please remember that uh, you want to be able to recognize when you're stressed. You also want to be able to make a plan of attack so that you don't fall back into those bad habits. Um, and then you also want to be able to talk with other people so that you can release it and they can give you some good advice. And sometimes you don't even want any advice. Tell them I don't want your advice. I just want to vent. <laughs> I just need to get this off my chest to you right now. Um, and, and also talk to God. You need to talk to God when you're getting stressed allow him to help you to navigate the space. Um, that is going to be first and foremost um, when it comes to dealing with stress and those guilty pleasures is allow God to, to help you, allow the Holy Spirit to, to guide you in those moments. So you got to recognize that you're stressed. <laughs> you got to put a plan of attack. You got you to gotta talk to someone, you know, release those things. And you're going to always talk to God. Um, because he's going to help you to navigate those spaces, those places, those times for you so that you can move forward so that those guilty pleasures don't get you anymore when you get stressed. And go ahead and do those things today because tomorrow is too late to be great.